Newsweek did an investigation to see whether or not Donald Trump has taken advantage of or exploited the fact that people are outsourcing jobs to China or buying cheap material from China instead of spending that money here in the United States to help people who manufacture these products. Well, it turns out that Donald Trump, while he keeps talking about how China's winning and the U.S. is losing and the Rust Belt is really suffering as a result, has been exploiting cheap labor and cheap material from China for quite some time. So let me give you the details on that. So a Newsweek investigation has found that in at least two of Trump's last three construction projects, Trump opted to purchase his steel and aluminum from Chinese manufacturers rather than United States corporations based in states like Pennsylvania, Ohio, Michigan, and Wisconsin. Damn. Okay, so he is buying steel and aluminum from China. And the way that he does it is, is really, really savvy when you think about it because he finds ways to kind of hide where these materials really come from. And we'll get to that in a second. Now, the first to use Chinese steel was Trump International Hotel Las Vegas, which opened in 2008. That the manufacturer is from China is not immediately evident. The fact is hidden within a chain of various corporate entities, including holding companies registered in the British Virgin Islands. OSIN, Corporate records show Chinese banks provide all of its short-term financing in the form of loans that almost all mature after one year and then are replaced by new loans. So let's, let's stop for a second. Osin is the name of uh, the company in China that he's buying his steel from. Okay. Now, it's a little problematic because this corporation is also getting loans uh, from banks in China, and these banks are closely tied to the government in China, right? And so uh, most Chinese banks are arms of the state tightly controlled by the Chinese Communist Party and provide financing to companies that are competitors to American manufacturers and other industries. So this really does hurt American workers and American manufacturers. And while that man is standing up there acting as if he has an interest in protecting them and making sure that they get their jobs back and making sure that they, you know, get fair wages. In reality, he doesn't care. He's been benefiting from the system that we have in place for quite some time now. Okay, so let's talk about this vicious circle. So uh, first off, he decides that he's going to buy it through all these subsidiaries. It's actually not that. I mean, you say that it was a interest, you know, smart scheme, but his lawyer set that up. He just goes, "Hey, buy from China because it's cheaper." Then the lawyers go, "Okay, I got it. We'll set up a couple of subsidiaries, yada yada," and they circle that around. And by the way, the main people setting it up are the lawyers for the Chinese company that use the subsidiaries as a shield uh, for public relations for Americans who want to buy Chinese steel but don't want the bad PR of yep. of of people knowing that they're not buying American steel. So now, they're allowed to buy any steel they want. It's not illegal or anything along those lines. But then you can't turn around and go, oh my God, they're moving all the jobs to China. No, 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 not they. You. Exactly. You're moving the jobs to China. So now you know his ties, his suits are all made in China. We already knew that. Now the steel in his buildings, the aluminum in his buildings, now we find out are all made in China. And so now let's talk about the vicious circle of the banks. because. The banks then loan the money, uh, the Chinese banks loan to the Chinese companies, they get more money back, then they loan it to other Chinese companies that also undercut uh, American companies, but it gets worse. The government then subsidizes, Chinese government subsidizes things like Chinese steel and aluminum. Their long-term plan is to undercut our industry so thoroughly at, at a, and they lose money doing it, okay? And they're willing to do it until they bankrupt our companies. Mm -hmm. And once our companies are out of business, then they come in and they raise the prices. And that is exactly what Trump aids and abets by going and buying that Chinese steel because he doesn't give a damn about you. He doesn't care about anyone but himself. And as the Kurt Eichenwald great piece here in Newsweek points out, he actually only ran, ran one public corporation, which he of course bankrupted, right? So all of this is just for himself. He has no fiduciary responsibility to shareholders. Yes. He doesn't have to do it. He chooses to do it. Now, if he built those towers, would they still be profitable if they used American steel? Yes. But then he would have to share some of the profits with American workers. He doesn't want to do that. He thinks, yeah, I bankrupt American steel by buying Chinese steel. What do I care? I'm not in the steel industry. That's your problem, not my problem. I made an extra couple of bucks. Now, you think that that's savvy, 
okay, that's on you, man. But the next time he bankrupts the company you work for and ships your job overseas, don't come crying to us because we're telling you exactly what he does and that's how he did it. So don't be, oh, but I didn't know. Now you know. Now you know. He's in the business of bankrupt you, back, bankrupting you as well as all the public corporation he, he runs. That's exactly right. And, and the most frustrating part about it is I feel like, you know, exposés like this, which are incredibly important, and I'm very happy that Newsweek did it, um, ends up just being a gigantic liberal circle jerk. And the reason why I say that mm. is because you give this evidence to the most avid Trump supporters who genuinely believe that he is very, you know, considerate of American workers and wants to protect them, and they'll just reject it. They'll reject it. Here is evidence proving that he is buying steel and aluminum from Chinese companies, and they still don't care. They still think that he's going to look out for them. He has no interest in looking out for you. He has a long history of showing disdain for the middle class and the working class. And here is an example of him benefiting from the same system that he claims that he's against. By the way, let me give you another example, and I think this one is even better because it shows you just how much money American workers and American companies have lost. So there was also a project in Chicago, and American companies lost out on more than $350 million in sales. This project in Chicago uh, had to do with uh, the Interna Trump International Hotel and Tower. So another recent uh, Trump building that has used metal from China is the Trump International Hotel and Tower in, Chi in Chicago which opened in 2009. So for that project, Trump obtained loans from uh, Deutsche Bank and three hedge funds that in turn used financing from George Soros. Damn. Amazing, amazing, right? So are conservative heads exploding right now? Are they talking about this? I mean, they, I mean, George Soros, he's the boogeyman. Everyone should be afraid of George Soros. Donald Trump, in essence, is working with George Soros on some of his projects. No, it, the funny thing is, Donald Trump is the exact opposite of what conservatives have always said they wanted. He, he's a guy who relishes shipping jobs overseas and says, that's savvy business, that's savvy business. Your loss, my gain, who cares, ha ha, he rubs your face in it. And you're like, oh, my jobs are getting, are, we're losing jobs. I'm going to vote for the guy who stole my jobs and shipped it off to China. How much does that say? You hate George Soros, oh, George Soros financing everything. Turns out the guy George Soros is financing is Donald Trump. Donald Trump. And you're going to... We haven't gotten a dime from George Soros. Right, and by the way, if we did, I wouldn't hide it. I would actually be elated because I could use some more funding. Okay, we haven't gotten a dime from right? George Soros, but Donald Trump has gotten all this money from George Soros, yet the sheep on the conservative Republican side are like, oh yeah, man, yeah, Trump. Uh. Okay, so you say, oh, no matter what it is, you always make the excuse, he's just a savvy businessman. Uh, that's why he doesn't pay any taxes, he makes me pay it. What? Uh, Okay, uh, that's why he's a savvy businessman. He, of course, he's going to make an extra buck by killing my job and shipping it to China. What? Okay, but what convinces you that he's on your side? Like, I understand your excuses. I understand that you think, oh, Donald, you're so brilliant. Oh, man, you, the way you took me from behind, you're so brilliant. You're so brilliant. I understand that part. You want to hand your monkey, your banana to an uh, orange monkey, the alpha male. Oh, here you go, Donald, take my job, right? I get all that. What I don't get is, why on God's green earth do you think he's on your side? What has ever led you to that belief? There is no gonna, answer to that. He's going to make America great. Like, you know? No, the only thing is, he blames other minorities. Yeah, and so they hate you the think, minorities. Oh, man, I'm, I'm going to vote for the guy actually screwing me over because he convinced me that I should blame the people even less powerful than me. The most powerless people. You think the guy who just crossed the border with the clothes on his back is the one screwing you? You think he's the one that's so powerful that he rigged the system? Or could it be the guy who claims he's worth $10 billion, who brags about rigging the system? You were worried about the corrupted and you should be. He's the corrupter. And you look at him and all you do is we want to give your banana to him. Oh yes, Mr. Donald, you're so savvy for taking advantage of idiots like me. Bah! If you enjoyed this clip, we actually have a two-hour news show, Monday through Friday, that you can watch commercial-free if you become a member. Go to tytnetwork.com join to become a member.